All right, guys, I'm really excited. This is the first time I've gotten an opportunity to do something like this, so I hope I do well. I get the opportunity to go through some of the highlights of the videos we've been doing for the past year or more. And what's really cool is we just hit 200 subscribers. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. Let's get started. Let's see, we are starting with one of my very first intros. I don't know, I look pretty good. <laughs> oh. Oh man, this thing is so much fun. You know, this gets to be super competitive because these little guys, they're into it. They're into it. At the beginning, they're just like running and getting after it. As we progress, it gets higher and higher and higher. And, you know, a lot of these kids get weeded out. Oh man, that was awesome. Because they knocked down the pad, but they're still a part of it because they're so excited to see. Oh, man. All right. That, he has some hops. Oh, no. So everybody else is excited because they're, they're watching to see who's going to actually pull it off. Now what's exciting about this is we progress. Oh, we are like down to like the highest jumpers. And it's just a it's just a lot of fun. Boom. And the thing is, this whole thing is about instructors versus students. So all the students versus all the instructors, single elimination. So when the students are out, they're out. Oh boy. Oh man. So close. Oh man. Some of these guys are showing off, having fun. And you know, that's what this is all about is having fun. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, getting up there. So we're, where are we down to? Two? I think we're down to two. Oh no, now we're down to two. And he could have made that. He totally could have made that. Okay, Jaime's representing the students. Here he goes, let's see it. Oh, he touched it, it did not go down. All right, now this is what's exciting is the person he's going against is actually his brother, who's actually represented, representing the instructors. That was awesome, man. So the two of them actually kind of plateaued and tied almost for the finish. I think Chris actually edged him out in the end. All right. All right, this is like our first Among Us challenge. So, <laughs> I love the intros. That was weak. All right. I have never seen Among Us at this point. And so, like, everybody's trying to tell me this is what it is and this is the premise. And so, this was, I said, cool, let's do it. Let's do a challenge. And so, a hot sauce challenge, I thought, would be a cool way to have some fun with this. I gotta tell you, I thought for sure we're gonna have people like falling apart. These guys, man, they took it down. So they have to pass around a button on who gets to like call out stuff. <laughs> I love watching these guys fight back and forth over this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he, can't, he can't get a hold of that thing. Yeah, you 
It's blue. Oh yeah, yeah. They're trying to they're trying to keep it straight on the colors that they're wearing, not trying to use their names. So So part of this is because we had that cash reward, we were able to get everybody excited about doing this event. So here's the thing, everybody got hot sauce except for one person. They actually got tomato juice. Um, thing is, they gotta figure out who got to the tomato juice based on their response. And of course, they're trying to throw each other off. So, <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. He did not listen when I explained this. You automatically win a prize if you got the tomato juice. Right off the bat, you automatically get a prize. But if you can, because you guess for yourself. So you so you automatically, he put the money on somebody else. He knew he had the tomato juice and he, get, he, he voted for somebody else. He obviously did not pay attention. Everett actually won the whole thing. Everett, as a, his day job, he does investigations. And so he has an amazing poker face. He gets confessions from people for a living. So he was like built for, for this game among us. Okay, this is our second attempt in, in Among Us. I actually think this worked out a lot better. Uh, it's the first time we kind of play with the, uh, like the video editing side of this. So let's see how that came out. <laughs> it came out so good. That was so much fun. Yeah, you know, doing the physical stuff in these suits is kind of awkward because these suits are not made for roundhouse kicks and spin kicks and cartwheels, but they're hilarious to watch. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys remember the Oompa Loompas, uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, where Violet turns into a blueberry. But Maya looks like a blueberry. <laughs> oh man, she does. More litter on the floor. I think he understands how to play the game now. That's so funny. Oh, yes. Falling <laughs> down. This is great. Now they're, now they're voting again. Who are they voting out? Oh, that poor little girl just got voted out as the litter bug. <clears throat> no? Oh, no. Bertram did. Okay. Poor guy. Oh, the leapfrog. Yeah, poor Maya. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, poor. oh, of course, his, his, his costume gives out on him. <laughs> Jump over. Go for it. <laughs> oh. I love how Maya's just playing it cool. She's just chilling out. <laughs> oh man. Oh. And he's out. Oh yes. Cartwheels. Yeah, these, yeah. <laughs> these suits are great. <laughs> Poor Everett who keeps dying on them.
Okay, remember guys, Everett for a living gets confessions out of people. He does interrogations. This guy is, this guy's hilarious. Out. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Again, more trash. <laughs> you guys get crap. I can't tell you how much fun we had with this game. And everybody's sitting outside just like waiting for the game to finish. <laughs> Wait, did he point at himself? I don't know why, he wasn't even the litter bug. That's hilarious. <laughs> But now he's out, <laughs> so it didn't work. I love how they, 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 he puts together this whole story. <laughs> Today, this young man, he's serving the U.S. Marine Corps, proudly serving. Uh, and when, at this time, he's getting ready to go to the Marine Corps. So we're like harassing him, always about his logic and the choices he makes and being a crayon eater. and. <laughs> And so he puts together this elaborate story. <laughs> this is why Everett, Everett did the, does what he does for a living. He is good at what he does. It is so funny. <laughs> Okay, this is hilarious. This is the tug of war. Now the tug of war, we got all the kids in there. We got everything lined up. This whole thing was hilarious because the tug of, the, the rope wasn't moving. So funny. Okay, this whole thing was a setup. Right from the very beginning. The whole thing's a setup. And What's interesting is some people actually figured it out and they were just being quiet. And the rest of them are like, they're given everything they have. They have no clue that this is a total setup. I've got people like wondering, what in the world? <laughs> Look at these guys, they're wondering. Look at his face. Look, he just realized what's going on. <laughs> oh, still they don't know. All right. <laughs> The kids have no clue. Look at this guy in the blue shirt. He's like giving everything he's got. <laughs> Look at him pull. Look at him pull. Down to one person. Everybody else disappears. I have it. I have it strapped to the wall. <laughs> it's anchored to a steel beam. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> so when everybody walked away, everybody can actually see it's it's anchored to the wall. Guys, this is so much fun. I re I'm really excited to do this again. Guys, we're at 200 subscribers right now. I can't wait for us to hit like a thousand. So like, share, comment, share with everybody. Um, and we're gonna have a lot more cool stuff coming out real soon. Thanks guys, bye.